Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine Lovely Tarot. It's so good to see you guys here today. Today's video is going to be for my Pisces. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want any personal readings, hit me up at jocelynlovely84 at gmail, okay? Alright guys, I'm using the Black Moon Astrology Tarot deck today. I'm getting beautiful energy with you guys. I got Jupiter and Black Moon Lilith. Look at the difference between these two energies. This planet, it's a big planet here, right? But look at look at the the, the, the person. It's a with the lining all over. It's like your life is not only very abundant, you as a person is are very abundant abundant. So when people see you, they see jackpot. They see prize. They see, ooh, I want. I want her. I want him. Right? Because Jupiter's a big character. It's flashy. It's it's a, again, it shows up, but it's very, very sexy, okay? With Black Moon Lilith, these are two traits that you have that rule a lot of your, for right now, it looks like it's in your 10th house and your 4th house. For some of you guys, check check your 10th and 4th house, okay? But it seems like even some of you guys were just born with these uh, traits, these qualities, and it's like when you show up, it's like, bam, an explosion came up, came off. Right when you show up, it's like it, you're undeniable. People can't just not look at you when you show up. You show up. Some of you guys are very good looking, very good looking. Some of you guys, men or women. I mean, I'm talking about this was passed down from your family with the fourth house. This was passed down, right? There's another female here. This is, has to be a woman, man. Uh, it's a very feminine gorgeous energy abundant energy remember feminine energy is already abundant it doesn't do much it just shows up and it's transformation right it, a feminine energy can transform you without doing much it's the self-belief it's rooted in self-belief that, 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 that you're gorgeous whoever you are man whoever i'm reading for you guys are very good looking and it's not just because you're good looking, right? Because you can wear makeup, you can just show up without makeup. It's your character. You show up knowing you're the you're the bag. You show up knowing you're the 10. You're a 10. Your confidence alone is a 10. Do you see what I'm saying? So more people will be attracted to you. You may not even be someone's type, but because of your confidence and the way you present yourself, you're a 10. Some people would wanna be with you regardless, whether that's in the sack or not, okay? It doesn't matter. The reason I bring this up is because you're a very powerful being, right? Some of you guys inherited this from your ancestors. You knew that um, good looks and vanity and all that would have to come with the package because maybe you were brought here. And when we talk about fourth house, right? And the 10th house, you were probably brought here for a good purpose, a good cause, right? When we talk about Jupiter in the 10th house, this is philosophical. This is higher learning. This is uh, a very spiritual guided life to a type of work that you're going to be doing that changes people's lives the type of work you're going to be doing will be a contribution to humanity every time i get this 10th house that's what what i think of the bigger picture that you see the big it looks like an eye it's the bigger picture what are, what are you destined to do here it's almost as if good looks have something to do with it but that's how you show up everywhere though it's more than that you were blessed with really good looks and a really high self-esteem. Some of you guys know how to seduce, okay? When we talk about Black Moon Lilith, it's a sexual, it's seductive, it's sexual, it's mystery. Some of you guys are very mysterious. Again, you know how to woo people. This type of reading is for somebody who's like an actor, actress. They know how to woo people. They know how to change personas. They know how to use every tool in their deck. Very magician energy I'm getting, guys. But it's for a reason. You guys think, some of you guys are taking your vanity in, 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 in like, uh, thinking, oh, well, you know, I, I lucked out. No, there's a reason for it. You were supposed to be very charming. You were supposed to know how to use your looks because there's work involved here. The type of work you're going to do is going to be displayed in front of people. It's like this, it's like this look right? That you're going to be able to show off to the world and it's going to be very much needed. Or maybe it has been needed. Maybe some of you guys have depended on your looks your whole life to get by. And here you are now uh, with Aquarius energy. Again, it's not just that you're mysterious, right? And you know how to flaunt and seduce and be quiet and, and, and just show up 
as a mystery, which is sexy. Very Mr. and Mrs. Smith energy. There you go. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Smith energy. You show up with Aquarius energy, right? Outside of the box thinkers. Maybe that's what adds to your charm. You're an outside of the box thinker. With Uranus, you're a, a, a force to be reckoned with, right? You're outside of the norm. You show up with different ideas. You don't listen. You, you bend the rules, and that's what you do. That's who you are, and I think maybe that's what adds to the, the attractiveness. People want to be around people who are rule breakers. People want to be around rebels, right? With the Black Moon Lilith and Aquarius energy, when you have your Uranus, you're a rebel, you don't, you're nothing to play with. It's like people are scared of you. <laughs> if people get involved with you, I feel like they might get in trouble. And I, I, I'm talking about people that have been like, okay, anybody that's like a Virgo or strict to the, to the, too hardworking or very, uh, somebody who follows the rules is going to have a hard time around you. <laughs> oh my God. You're too much. People can't understand someone like you. Like worker bees and stuff like that. People who adhere to rules, right? Like anybody who creates a code of conduct, they, they look at you like, how, <laughs> how did someone like you get hired anywhere, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, you're a rule breaker. You're outside of the norm. You teach people new things. You teach people things, how to be creative, how to be outside of the box. And I think, I think people love you for it. People adore adore you for it but it's 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 something you inherited i'm getting some of you guys used to hate this about yourselves because remember society teaches you to be a worker bee society teaches you to adhere to rules society teaches you that so for someone who's never been that person with aquarius i'm getting aquarius energy i know you're a pisces but it seems to me like uranus also may be in your chart a lot especially when it comes to like the 10th house and fourth house because this is how you grew up your parents pass these traits on to you and your ancestors it's almost as if damn what was i gonna say damn i was gonna say something but i forgot uh it's almost as if oh yeah you hated yourself for it because you were anti everybody else you weren't like other people and probably people probably made fun of you growing up and now it's like you show up being you and you're like dang who knew right <laughs> who knew people would love me for being this person now when you show up you're different you're not like the rest which is why you're so lovable it's funny because it looks to me like you're at the point in your life where earth stability is actually calling to you it's so different right pisces it's, it's almost asking you to uh use earth energy a little bit more now because you're getting to a point where it's like you're just so different some of you guys are just calling in normalcy or you want to be a little more normal or feel life to be a little more normal. Yeah, because your life has been anything other than that. And I think that's what you've been craving for lately. To just be at peace and be a little more grounded. But again, earth energy, I'm getting feminine energy. Yeah, some of you guys just, just don't want to do as much anymore. You guys just want to show up and 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 be at the table and, and and get to enjoy without doing anything well yeah think about it if you're out there displaying these talents 24 7 you get tired you don't want to be around people all the time yeah it, it's almost because you it's almost it almost is because you're the life of the party and every time you're around people that's what you're used to being but it's like you don't want to be that anymore some of you guys are just getting tired of being like the life of the party uh, seducing people, mysterious all the time. Some of you guys just want to be normal for once. Wow. Who would have thought that's what you've been craving a little bit? Uh, especially now. For whatever reason, you've been craving it. Anything else? Oh, we're at nine already. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting Mercury mind energy, right? Very strong, passionate energy. But it's almost as if, look at this Mercury. It's not red, it's green. It's almost as if you want this greener, more uh, heart-based, relaxed energy. It's almost as if you want to think your way through things now and just be more calm. It's like a strategy you're thinking of for whatever reason. It's just something you've been craving lately. Listen to that. Listen to that. I was telling you to be more passive during these days. Do that. It's probably your way of showing you that there's other parts of you that need to be discovered. 
when you're not, you know, all play. All right, that's all I have for you. I love you.